Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be opening up the Emerald City Comic Con Fig Pin Bundle. So let's get started. Alright guys, so I am super excited about this. This is my second Fig Pin package on the channel, and you guys really liked the last one. And I actually got into the Fig Pin Lottery for Emerald City Comic Con. They didn't have the convention, so I had to order it online. So now it has finally arrived to the house, and I'm super excited to open this thing up. So I guess we'll just cut into this and see what's inside. I kind of remember some of the ones, and I think if I'm not mistaken, if you bought the entire thing, you also got the Emerald City Comic Con Fig Pin logo pin. I think. Anyways, we'll find out in a second. All right guys, so I just cut the tape. Now let's see what is on top here. Okay, so first off there's paper, of course, and then, oh, I do see a logo pin. Okay, cool. So I guess we can start with that. And I also saw on the paper that there should be a sticker in here as well um, of the logo. So let's show off the logo pin first though. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is supposed to be Godzilla, I think. But anyways, you guys can see right there, that is the logo pin. I'm super excited about this one. I think this is now my, Fourth or fifth logo pin? I'm not too sure. Okay, so I found the sticker as well. I'm probably not gonna stick this anywhere just because it's too neat to have something like this. And I feel like, because I only got one in this box, I don't wanna stick it. So we'll probably save this uh, for something. I'll probably keep it in the collection. But there is the exact same logo as a sticker. Now, I guess we'll just get into this. So I bought every single one, and I don't really know which one to start with. I guess we'll start with the Hello Kitty one here. I thought it'd be cool just to get all of them because I did get into the lottery, um, and you don't get into that very often. So I thought it was cool to grab everything. Um, the first thing we got here, though, is the Hello Kitty. Now, this one's a little bit different. I don't know if they've ever made a Hello Kitty one before this, but uh, for this one here, it is Hello Kitty with a green and blue umbrella. So it's pretty much everything at Emerald City Comic Con is kind of green-ish when they do their exclusives, or at least most of the stuff is. So for this Hello Kitty here, they did the green umbrella, the green bow, the green shirt and then I also noticed this one here is limited to 750 pieces. I also like the white bottom as well and it comes with the hard acrylic case and it's not those flimsy ones so it's really nice. Now next up here guys we have this one from My Hero Academia. I'm super excited about this one. I know Noah really wanted this one as well but this one here is the Principal Nezu from My Hero Academia. I really hope um, they turn this into a Funko Pop as well because this right now is the only way I can get this one as a figure and I mean I'm not complaining I really do love the fig pin so it's really cool that we could get this one and this one is limited to one of a thousand as well if you guys want to see that right there there's the back i don't think i showed the back for the hello kitty so if you guys want to see that there it is right there all right guys let's see what's next i think we'll do let's do all the single ones first and then we'll get into the bigger stuff after um this one i'm super excited about so i know they've made a bruce lee before but i missed that one when it came out because i wasn't really collecting fig pins at the time i actually started collecting a little bit later than that so this is my first ever bruce lee fig pin i was so excited about getting this one and this is my first ever golden fig pin now it's not entirely gold it's just the edges that are gold but i do think that looks really great this is a white and gold uh bruce lee pin it looks amazing so excited about this one and then and you guys can see on the back here, there he is a little bit closer up and it is limited to 750 pieces. All right guys, next up here we have a cool one. Now I don't know if they've ever made another one of this one before, but it's Goku. This might just be a different Goku pin, like him in a different uh, pose or something like that because I don't know if I've ever seen a Goku pin before. Um, but this one right here does look really nice. It's almost like him saluting and I think that looks really, really great. Um, I think there was only one Dragon Ball one for this convention, but what I really like about what they did um, with their pins this time is they made them very um, diverse, I guess you could say. So there's so many different licenses that they actually chose for this convention, so there really was a pin for everybody. And if you guys want to see the back, there it is right there, guys. It's limited to one of 1,500. I think it's really awesome because they did limit, I think, every single character at this convention. All right, guys, so let's get into the next one here, and this one is Wonder Woman. Now, I don't know if they've ever made another Wonder Woman before. It might be for a different movie, but this one is the Justice League Wonder Woman. Um, this one does look really great. You can see she's got her sword and shield there. She's in a pretty cool, like, stance or power pose, I guess you could say. This one is limited to one of 1,000. Um, it's gonna be really fun actually I didn't mention this but I will be putting these in on the app as well And I'll show you guys a little bit more about the app towards the end because I know I don't make fig pin videos too often So I thought I would go through the app again just to show you guys what it's all about um, But I really am so excited about putting them in there because I want to see what numbers I got like out of a thousand fifteen hundred and seven hundred and fifty all right, guys, so let's get into the next one here, and I think we're going to go with this one. This one's from Naruto Shippuden. Now, this is Daidora right here. Now, this is the first time I think they've ever done this figure, so it's cool. So if you guys are a Naruto fan, you would have had to have gotten this one at Emerald City Comic Con. But yeah, this one right here is really, really well done. I'm pretty sure Noah's going to want this one from me. I don't know if I'm going to give it to him yet, because I might want to put it in the app. Depending on what number it is, maybe I'll give it to him. But anyways, guys, this one is one of 750, so it is pretty limited. But then again, I don't think he's a main, main character, so it makes sense. All right, guys, so I'm going through the box here. There's 
there's so many great ones left, but I think we're gonna go with this one. Let's show off Stitch here. So this is the Stitch that they're doing. There's a bunch of different versions of Stitch, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that they're coming out with. And this one here is kind of like the older, I wanna say, uh, comic or cartoon version. It doesn't look like it does in the television show, that's for sure. Um, but this one right here is the, I guess you could say, Cool Guy Stitch. It just says Stitch on the bottom there. Um, but it does look pretty neat. I'm a big fan of Stitch, so I do like this pin. And then you guys can see again, it is limited to 750 pieces. And it would be really cool to see another version of this one where it's just Stitch without the sunglasses on and everything. You know, like the kind of like classic Stitch look. Um, so I hope that does come soon. Maybe even a two pack with him and Lilo. That'd be neat. All right, guys, so the last one we've got here for the normal size ones is the Ultra Instinct Sign Goku. Now, I thought it was Ultra Instinct Goku. I've never seen the sign in the middle there. So if you're a Dragon Ball fan, let me know what that means. Um, but anyways, yeah, this one's really cool. So this is the black nickel white out finish. That is a really, really cool one because I don't think I have any of them like this. And now that I think about it, I don't think they've made any other ones that are like this maybe besides Dragon Ball ones. I can't think of any other ones that are like this besides them. Um, but yeah, this one here is pretty rare. Again, limited to 750 pieces. So it's a pretty neat one. All right, guys, so let's get into this one here. So this right here is a two-pack. This is the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse one. What I really like about this one though is that the colors are complementary. So you guys can see here, um, they did the red with the blue background where Minnie has got the blue dress with a red background. I think that looks really, really great. These ones are limited to a thousand pieces so they are pretty rare especially for a Mickey and Minnie set like this and also I really like the way that they're looking at each other in this I think that is a really cool touch that they did instead of both of them looking like left or both looking right I think it looks cool that they're looking towards each other that really does make it kind of like a complete two-pack and I hope that makes sense because with them looking together it looks like they're supposed to be displayed next to each other but yeah I think they have made these pins before the only difference is that they're glitter and it's two-pack all right, guys, so there's one more two-pack inside of this bundle here, and I want to show this one off right now. So this is the Captain America and Red Skull two-pack. Now, this one here is a little bit different because you guys might be thinking they made one of these for New York Comic Con, but the New York Comic Con one was the mini pins, not the larger ones or the normal-sized ones like this. So this one does look really, really well done. Um, I'm a huge fan of this one. This one is limited to 1,500 pieces, so a little bit less than the Mickey and Minnie, but it's still very limited. And I like that these are the classic Red Skull and Captain America and not the newer ones from the MCU. All right, guys, now last but not least here, we have the Fig Pin XL. I'm so excited about this one. There was one of these that came in a little while ago, but this one for Emerald City Comic Con was kind of a greenish tint to it. I mean, I think this looks really, really well done. So this right here is the Godzilla. This one is limited to 750 pieces as well as most of them. But um, this one is the full color enamel. This is so cool. I'm a huge fan of this one. I really like the way this one looks. And uh, because this is the last one that we pulled out, I think this is gonna be the one that I'm showing you guys how to use the app with. All right, guys, so I've taken Taking it out of the wrapping here and we're gonna check this thing out so I want to put it into the app first off we have to actually pop it out of here though and I want to see what this thing looks like out of the box here it is right here now this thing is amazing it looks like it might glow in the dark I don't know if it does it just says full color enamel on the back it doesn't actually say but for some reason that lighter green on the side here kind of looks like it might glow all right guys so there is Godzilla standing and one thing that I really like about these is that they're so detailed it looked like you could have pulled this like right out of like a comic or a picture or or art or something like that and this is really really well done now if you guys don't know on the back of every pin it actually has a code that you can put into the app I'm not gonna show you what mine is but it's right under this right here like the stand that keeps it up so if you guys want to put this in the app look out for that all right guys so let me actually do that right now I'm gonna pop this off add it to the app and we're gonna see what number this is out of 750 all right guys so if you want to unlock this one you can actually go to the little lock at the top and type this in I can't say it out loud because then you guys would know what it is um, but if you guys do have the Figpin app uh, please go over and boost them because you guys can do that so you kind of like give extra points uh, to your favorite pins and if you see a really cool pin or rare pin that goes through you can boost them and I think it's really neat that they do that all right guys so I have just put it in we are going to be unlocking it here let's find out what number this thing is. Calculating Figpin factory score. It is factory score of num of 71. The pin is a factory score of 71. Okay, so this is awesome. So let me unlock this thing real quick. And I just checked, guys. This actually added 2,130 points to my fig pin power. And we are up to now 68,000 power, which is crazy. I think my most for one is something like 9,000. I'm not too sure. There's 4,000 on this one. 8,188 is my most. It is my, I think this is my AP of, who is this here? Todoroki? I think it is. Yeah, there it is guys, Shoto Todoroki is my highest one.
Alright guys, so you probably just saw all of the fig pins and what their numbers were and their scores were on the app. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future or also more fig pin videos in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popstars, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, <laughs> well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow.